When it comes to singles, your serve is really important. It's kind of what it sets the tone for the rest of the, the rally. So the number one thing you want to do with your serve is to hit it as deep as possible. Um, if you can, with power. You want to make sure, or you're trying to have your, basically the returner, your opponent, you don't want it, her or him to move forward following the return. So if you try to hit it deep and with somewhat some power, then your chances of keeping your opponent back are much higher. Also, very important in, in singles, make sure you mix your serves. So it could be mixing it up in, on, in the, on the other side. So maybe instead of going, you know, always to my opponent's back end, maybe once in a while I should go to their forehand as well. Or it could be the speed of my, my, basically, my serve. If I always give them the same speed over and over, the same power, they're going to get used to it. So I always kind of want to have them on not knowing what's coming their way. And the last one, maybe I can change the spin to, or maybe I can go with more of a slice uh, serve, maybe more of a moon ball serve, and maybe one that's a little bit more flat. Um, another one, another little tip when you're playing singles and you're serving, you want to see what your opponent, their position. You Sometimes you notice them maybe cheating more towards the, let's say if I'm on this side and they're cheating more towards the right, it kind of means to me that they, won't, they want to hit a back end. So I might go more towards their forehand so I can get a weaker return for my opponent. If I see them cheating the opposite way, if I see them cheating towards the middle on this side, then I know I shouldn't go to that side as much. Maybe I should try to aim more towards their back end. Another thing you can do with your serve, if you notice your opponents are not very quick uh, side to side, you can practice on serving wide so you can receive an easier shot and open you, basically the court. So if I go wide with my serve, then my, my opponent has to really move all the way to that side. It kind of leads me to have the whole court open for my following shot. And I have them right, out, right off the bat, I have them moving. So that's kind of what I want. Um, the last thing on your serve, it's if your strength, for example, I love my forehand. Every time I'm serving on the even side of the courts in singles, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna serve from closer to the, the line here, the middle line, because I wanna be able to hit my third shot with my, my, my forehand, my strength. Um, if I prefer my back end, there's some players out there that do prefer the back end. You might see them cheating a little bit more towards the, the, the sideline so they can hit the first shot of the rally with their back end. Nice. My, I can tell that my opponent wants to hit a back end. So this is where I'm gonna try to really aim towards that last box in the corner. So I make my opponent hit a forehand, which is her weakness. Now let's say I notice that my opponent is cheating towards the middle because she really wants badly, she wants to hit badly a forehand. Then I might go more towards the box that's closer to the middle line. 
so I have her hit her weakness shot again, the back end. Nice. This one is for, is for me to set myself up with my serve. So my opponent is on the run right after I serve that ball. I am going to go in the opening. So I have my opponent on the run right off the bat. Thank you. This last strategy, depending on what you want to hit after your serve, um, I prefer my forehand in my case, so I'm going to cheat a little bit towards the middle. And then after I serve, depending on her return, I'm really going to try to hit my forehand with my forehand. Let's say I want to start the point and I prefer my back end, then I'm going to position myself a little closer to the sideline and do the same thing. Try to make sure I hit the first ball of the rally with my back end following my serve.